Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Nestec, but today I want to come back to you do a bit of a re-review to the Linksys AC1200. Now, since the first time I reviewed this unit, I've come across a whole lot of information and got a whole lot better educated about routers and uh, the limits that they can do, the, the what they can pull off. So I want to put this thing under a bit of a stress test and see how fast it can transfer locally over the local area network, wireless, wired, I want to see what band it has decided to put itself in and I'll uh, give it a bit of, of a, a range test. Anyways, let's go. All right, she's plugged in, good to go. You couldn't tell because there's no lights on this unit. Anyways, if you look here, oh wow, Nacho's really messing with us over here, isn't he? Anyways, this is the bands, the Wi-Fi bands. For those who don't know, you want these bands to be within the same arch and not conflicting over. The more channels you take, the potentially faster your system will go. But some units, uh, some hardware doesn't work with higher channels, so sometimes it'll make things harder for you. But this Linksys system has put itself between 3 and 10. Of course, cutting off your fault. You don't want to do that. You want to be within the same band. Or better yet, you want to be outside of anybody else's band. So whoever that Nacho guy was, he's got a huge band going and it's cutting everybody off. Um, let's go to the 5G, and we will see. Yeah, like, it's interesting. I'll, I wonder how these systems automatically set themselves up for different bands. Because I have bands right beside that, that Urban 5G. I have bands right beside it that aren't open. And it's still taking up that band. It must know, it, it must know that it's within somebody else's band. All right, folks, you know how it goes. Here's my systems over here on the left-hand side. I got my Alexandrian backup. That's where I keep my servers, my uh, all my files and everything. And over on the right-hand side over here, that's where I keep my power system. That's the system that I use to uh, do my work. And I'm going to do a transfer from one to the other directly. This, These things are both wired, or they're not even hardwired right now. They are connected in with AX technology. That's a dual band. And this router, which is once again line of sight, just over there, it uh, it has line of sight. This should be optimal performance, optimal experience. Let's see how fast it goes. Okay, so units unit, I'm getting about 10 megabytes a second. That's uh, that's on the high end. I was definitely expecting a little bit more, but hey, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Next up, I'm going to try to hardwire one of these systems in the server and see if it boosts the speed. Okay, so in this case, my server is now hardwired. It does seem to be helping out with the speed, but not a lot. Instead of fluctuating down to about, well, I guess one megabyte back up to nine early on, it's hard 10 to 11, so good to know. All right, for my next test, I got both of these units hooked up. I'm expecting to get about 12 megabytes a second because this is fast ethernet that uh, not gigabyte, which means, yeah, it's about how fast it should go. Okay, both units plugged in hardwired and the speed's just about the same as it was the first round. That's interesting. Still, that'll get you through. I mean, if you don't have a big family, that's fine. But if you do have a big family, I definitely think you want to be dropping a little more, more money on your system than just this. All right, folks, time for a range test. Now I'm in a townhouse. Right now I'm in the basement. The router is in the back of the basement. I'm in the front of the basement right now. Let's go upstairs next. Right now I'm on the second floor at the opposite end of the house, and it's still holding up pretty good. So surprisingly, I'm in my daughter's room and I'm actually getting a signal. This is the only router so far that has managed to get a signal to this room. Which is freaking amazing. Let's switch over to the 5G. And yeah, the 5G HZ is actually showing up. So wow, this thing definitely has very powerful range. I've never gotten anything to reach up this high yet. That's amazing. Okay, so it should be said, well, while it is playing, it's definitely... <laughs> it's a little bit glitchy. Alright, so that's it from me folks net from nevs tech bits like and subscribe if you like this stuff it's always appreciated and as always folks take care of each other